Oh, hi. You know, not just people have a birth date, but objects do as well, including flags, which were invented in ancient times to identify different tribes and clans. When countries began to form, they adopted flags as a symbol of identity. Now, you know, the national flag of Canada, it has a birthday of February 15, 1965. <laughs> Now, most of us know it by its nickname, the Maple Leaf. It tells us and the rest of the world that we are Canadian. And we belong to a great nation which spans from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean and from the border of the United States all the way to the North Pole. And because it's one of Canada's most important symbols of identity, Prime Minister Jean Chrétien in 1996 declared that the national flag of Canada's birthday, well, it must be celebrated so that Canadians will know its story, as it's part of our story. Now, you know, the Maple Leaf, it's 98 years younger than the nation of Canada. How can that be? Well, the journey to its birth was very, very difficult. <laughs> make up Canada for thousands of years were home to many indigenous people. They had their own territories, their own forms of governance, and their own cultures. And then the Europeans discovered what they called the New World. The French came first, and then the British, who claimed all the lands as their own and strived to colonize all the native people. Then, on July 1st, 1867, the British colonies of Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick all joined together to become a new country called Canada. Over time, other British colonies joined in until Canada was made up of 10 provinces and three territories. Now this new country, Canada, needed a flag to identify it. But the leaders couldn't agree on how it would look. And as they didn't want to fight about it, what they decided to do was to keep flying a British flag called the Union Jack or another flag called the Canadian Ensign. But, time flies. And soon Canada was in her 90s with no flag of her own. Well, the Prime Minister Lester B. Pearson, he said, this is unacceptable. Canada's 100th birthday is coming soon, and we need our own distinctive flag for the big celebration in 1967. Well, he stood up in the House of Commons in the Parliament buildings in Ottawa, and he said to his fellow politicians, I want a flag that will say to the world and to the future that I stand for Canada. Well, people got really upset. Many of them wanted to keep flying the Union Jack, more the Canadian Ensign, while others wanted a, a, a something new, but they couldn't agree on a, on a flag design. And, and before you know it, tempers started to flare, and things got pretty nasty. And when the House of Commons couldn't agree on a flag design, Prime Minister Pearson appointed a flag committee, and he said to them, you have six weeks to find a design for a flag that will speak to all Canadians from coast to coast. Well, imagine being told that you have to solve such a huge problem that had gone on for almost 98 years and you only have 42 days to do it. Well, the committee got right to work. And they called for all Canadians to send in their flag designs. And hundreds of them did. 
And the committee, they studied those designs, and they debated over those designs, and they fought over those designs, and oh, how they struggled, but the committee could not fail, and so they made a choice. And of all the designs that have been submitted, the committee chose the one of Dr. George Stanley, who thought of it one day while he was having lunch and drew it on a paper napkin. <laughs> Dr. Stanley's design was simple, but it was full of symbols from the past. The red represented France and the white Britain, while the maple leaf was already a proud symbol of Canadian identity representing the strength of the land and its many people. You know, the final drawing was made by a graphic artist named Jacques St. Cyr. And what seemed so difficult and so impossible was really not that hard at all once people began to work together. Well, the House of Commons and the Senate, they approved the design. And the Queen of Canada, Elizabeth II, proclaimed it should become the new national flag of Canada on February 15, 1965. And at noon that day, a young RCMP constable raised the flag on Parliament Hill for the first time. You know, for fear of violence, Dr. Stanley, he wouldn't let his kids come to the flag raising ceremony. But now most Canadians have come to love our national flag, which proudly says, I stand for 